Hey guys, Ruth Lucario. Yeah, my it's just a safe obsession. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> this time around Um, Windows is, earlier this year, Windows 7 ended its life cycle. I mean... I think you can still go on the internet on Windows 7, but the thing about having support for an operating system is, well, there could be, there could be hackers, could be criminals trying to get your data. And stuff. Which, if the operating system is not supported, that means you won't get any updates. You so you just gotta let Windows 7 go and just move on because. When Microsoft says it's in the past, it's in the past. They're not going to keep giving you updates. ended it it's gone <sighs> Microsoft support of Windows 7 is over but its life doesn't have to end we call on Microsoft to upcycle it instead and see They are demanding that Windows 7 be brought back. And obviously, you can't... bring back... can't demand that Microsoft bring back Windows 7 when they own it. <sighs> Referring back to Windows XP, a lot of people miss the days of Windows XP. I mean, nobody wanted to see it go, but Microsoft said it was its 
time to be put out the pasture. Now, now, a lot of people really don't like Windows 10 because of the data collecting. But I'd rather I'd rather use a supported operating system than than one that's about to close down because face it when it came to privacy Windows 7 was the bomb, but I do believe that Windows 10 has a little code from Windows 7 that they haven't gotten rid of yet. Yeah, this is probably a warning that Microsoft said since more users are using Windows 10, they they're basically not making much money off of Windows 7 PCs and and yeah a lot of major companies in something that that isn't gonna be sold anymore so yeah Windows 7 was not very known for having good self-defense when it came to malware or adware or any virus or even ransomware I do believe that for pro users that Windows, but Microsoft has like like has given Windows Seven extended support that you'd pay for each year, but it only lasts for three years. The updates are probably not that good, anyways. So, yeah, and they have articles on, Microsoft has articles on their website about
I think the same is going to happen to Windows 8. But there, there are things I believe Like I said earlier, they're not gonna sell an outdated Windows computer. If your Windows 7 computer can't really handle the required specifications for Windows 10, then and get yourself a, a good antivirus that supports it. Probably get an anti-ransomware module. And just move on from there. Or you can just buy a new computer. The new computers being sold today will still will, will have Windows 10. If you want Windows 10 to be open source, well, um, good luck with that. It probably won't happen any time in my life.
Windows 10 works extremely faster than Windows 10, which I will cover later on in the video. Yeah, I think the requirements for Windows 10 are quite high compared to Windows 7. Yeah, you can you can still download Yeah, you can still downgrade your computer to Windows 7, but trust me, it's not worth it. If you're into gaming nowadays, it's it's best just to have a Windows 10 computer. Because most games being made nowadays are are run on Windows 7. You can downgrade. Yeah, I don't think I can do it on... I don't think it... Yeah, see if you update your... PC for more than... If you already updated... If your PC is already updated for more than 10 days ago, then... Then you probably... Won't be... Likely to 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 downgrade from it, I guess.
Yeah, they... They warn people about stuff like this. Windows 7 was really slow back in the day. It didn't do a good job of protecting itself from from attacks and and yeah it it's Microsoft's decision whether whether they will allow you to use Windows seven or not so yeah that's pretty much ends this video and it's probably in this video is probably getting out of hand in my opinion i've made my points it's best to stick with windows 10 bye for now